So while we're talking about banning consent searches, one of the more positive things I got out of this discussion is there's no implication that we should be banning or forcing people to be more cautious in how they they use their phones. Harlan called these tools are essentially creating a window into the soul. But I think they've also enhance our lives. I mean, they're not just a window into the soul. They actually give us ways to remember things that we would forget. They give us instant access to the world's knowledge. They make sure that I will never get lost again. And and all of these things are things that we should be able to preserve in a free society. And despite the fact that they are so intimate and so revealing, I think that just means that they have to have the same protections that we would give to the thoughts in our head. And I think this is one of the ways that we need to make sure that we fix things. We need to fix things so that people can still have their devices. They can still have their tools. They can still outsource their memory and part of their brain to a device that they carry around in their pockets all the time and that that is protected. The The answer here isn't to limit what we can do with our devices. The answer is to lift up the protections that we get from law enforcement uh, and in society over the fact that we we want to use these tools. 